Hiya, welcome to this video. I've had a video request from this person here who wants to know about a program called Fences. He wants me to make a video on it, so I'm going to make a video for that person. I don't know whether it's a girl or a boy, but I'm going to make the uh, video for them. So you can get it from uh, Stardock, basically. You go to www.stardock.com and they make a few other programs, but this is the program that we're going to be talking about today. It's called Fences. It's a freeware program, and basically what it does is it organizes the files on your desktop, uh, files, icons, and folders. So you can actually section them off into like fences, they call them fences, but you can actually section them all off into nice little categories, like so. And you, with a double click, you can actually add the icons, but you'll see what I mean when I share the video. But it does work with Windows 7, Windows Vista and Windows XP. I'm going to be showing you on this test bed here on this uh, XP version, but it will work with all other um, versions of Windows. So let's actually download the program itself. You can download by just clicking on the download tab. I've already downloaded this, so I'm not going to bother. But basically, let's uh, get it installed, which I've already done. Uh, once you've installed it, you'll be have to reboot the system and then you'll get this box popping up okay and it'll ask you what to do now you can actually just click on this button here and this will organize all these icons for you or you can actually create your own ones okay so basically if you want to just do it yourself if you want to do it for them you can click on this and it'll just say just create a couple of fences or sort out my icons well it will allow them to do it for you so if you want to do this you can do click on this and it will section them all off for you like so and that way you won't have to um, you won't have to create any yourself okay now this is the actual box now you can see what it's done let me just put that down there you can see what it's done basically recent things programs web links folders files and docs so it is actually sectioned them off okay for you so you can actually um, leave that as it is if you want now the way you can do it is either you can either right click uh, onto the desktop and you'll see uh, the program there let me just uh, configure, um, you'll see configure fences here. Okay, and this opens up this box if you haven't got it opened, okay. Now fences is this tab here which you can see top left to right six fences, okay. And you can change this if you wanted to, okay. You've also got the uh, customization, brightness, hue, saturation and uh, transparency and stuff. So make them a little bit more transparent if you wanted to so you can't see them okay so you can barely see them this you get my general gist of it so you can actually change all this and obviously the brightness as well of the colors that you want to use okay and you've also got the hue and saturation you can change the color scheme to suit your background if you wanted to if you want to go to it that sort of in that sort of length okay so you've got the tools here this is basically uh, the tool palette you're not going to really be going in there so much but mainly um, it's mainly the fences that's going to be interesting. Now you can see where it says create a fence or label a fence or adjust a fence. So if you wanted to adjust a fence, it will tell you basically at the bottom here of what to do. Drag, um, you can see it say click and drag at the edge of the fence to move the fence or drag a label. Okay, so it is pretty self explanatory really. It does show you click on create a fence it will actually tell you exactly what to do so with that in mind so if you wanted to actually uh, hide your icons you see what I did there you actually just double clicked on it on the desktop you see that so if I double click on the desktop it will actually uh, hide my icons you can actually take the tick out put the tick in this and you won't see this box anymore like so so if I want to bring the icons back I just double click and up they come Okay, also resizing, you can actually just, like a picture really, you can actually resize these to how you want them, like so, and make this a little bit smaller if you wanted to, whatever sort of uh, floats your boat really, just play around with these and have them exactly where you want them on your desktop, if you want to move them about, you can move them about as well, okay, and you can also rename the fence as you can see here you can actually rename fence so this is files and documents and so on and so on and so on you just rename so that's just a simple right click and rename okay uh, as you can see delete fence so if I wanted to delete this fence I could delete this fence if I wanted to now deleting that fence is as simple as that okay so also uh, if you wanted to 
make a fence you could actually make a fence by right clicking on the desktop and holding the button down and making dragging out an area like so and then it will leave a little tab there saying create a new fence here click on that and call it whatever you like just call this stuff for now like so and that will now create a fence called stuff and I can now grab all this stuff here and drag that in there like so okay it's as simple as that and I can make this fence bigger and smaller just like you would really as a picture or something in Photoshop or something of that nature and you can as I said put these about anywhere you like really it's a really useful program really if you like that sort of stuff I mean I've never really sort of uh, had a play of it I've only just installed it just this second so that's the first sort of look I've had at it really so I think it's okay it's not too bad um, it's got a, quite a useful touch to it if you like to have a bit of space on your desktop and you also if you've got a nice wallpaper there, or you're doing very minimal you can actually just uh, click these and get rid of them and, and if you wanted the whole rather than going in and dis making them disappear so I think for that reason it's pretty good and I think what you can do as well you can right click on here and exclude these icons to the fence to hide mode so for instance if I wanted to say for instance my computer and just exclude that icon and uh, and then just basically leave my icon. When I double click on here, that will just exclude that one icon, as you can see there, okay? So it won't get rid of the, the main one. Say for instance, my documents or something of that nature. So for instance, I wanted to do my docs, exclude that one as well, because they're the two main ones that you mainly use, my computer and my documents. Say for instance, when I double click to clear the screen, these two files will be here, okay? So anyway, I've just dragged that out by moving that out, okay? And you can move them about exactly how you want. So I hope this video has been some use to you. Thanks very much for watching. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. If you've got any video requests like this guy did or this girl did, then obviously post it in the forum or send me a message and I'll make that video for you, okay? Now, thank you guys for all the support and clicking on that subscribe button. Anyone else that feels that they want to subscribe to my channel, then you know that big button there. Just click on it and become part of the team. Thanks very much. Bye for now.